24-year-old Tisha Vaughn appeared before the chief magistrate this morning where the customer service representative was arraigned on a single count of manslaughter by negligence. The charge was brought against her following a deadly shooting on Friday evening near a popular watering hole in Belize City. Around 5.17 p.m., police responded to a shooting incident in the Kings Park area of Belize City. Upon their arrival, they found the motionless body of a male person in the driver's seat of a vehicle, motionless, apparently dead. The person was identified as Charles Canton. He was taken to the cage image thereafter where he was pronounced dead on arrival. It is reported that Charles Canton, a resident of Sun Hill Village, had just parked his vehicle on 2nd Street and was in the company of Vaughn and another occupant, identified as Jose Montero. He then produced a licensed firearm and placed it on the handrest inside the SUV. While loading the magazine, Vaughn allegedly reached for the weapon. They were in the car uh, consuming alcoholic beverages and uh, the deceased placed his gun on the seat and she took the gun from the seat. A single shot was fired and a round that was chambered in a 9mm handgun tore through the back of Canton's driver's seat, mortally injuring him. It all happened suddenly and quickly here in front of Alaska. Yeah, I was coming home from work. I stopped to get some gas in Ladyville and I met a friend and he said, he was also putting gas and he said, Kati, have you heard what happened? So I said, um, no, what's going on? And right away I pulled out my phone and I, I saw so many missed calls. That's when Charles' older sister realized that something had gone terribly wrong. He said, he just heard that Charles got shot. And I said, no. No. He said, yes. Yeah. So I pick up my phone and I call my husband and I said, babe, please tell me this is not true. And he said, yes, please come straight home. Charles's childhood friend was at a shop in the village when he also received word of the tragedy. The mortgage officer at Holy Redeemer Credit Union had been shot and killed by his co-worker. Friday evening, I'm in the by the China and somebody called telling me about your Charles. Somebody shot Charles. I'm like, what? So I left from there and I go straight, go check us what happened. By then, Kathy Canton was already on her way to Belize City, heading towards the scene of the shooting where she had been summoned to identify her brother. So we went back to Belize and I went to the crime scene and I saw him sitting in his car. You know, and I, I was hoping it wasn't him, but it was. So I waited until they did their investigation and whatever. And told me it's time to come over and that's when I saw him. It's an unfortunate reminder of the dangers of playing with a firearm. It wasn't new to him. He, he knew about gun. He's, he hunts all the time. So it wasn't new to him, you know, and that's, that's why it's just a shocker that he was so, um, you know, kind of careless to have somebody else touching his weapon. You know, so it's, it's a shocker for us. Canton, a village councillor, an athlete and a loving father, died leaving behind a two-year-old daughter and a life that he was preparing for his small family. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.